Hello all, welcome to SourceCAD. In this tutorial, I will tell you about groups and group editing. So in previous tutorial, you have learned about blocks and in this tutorial, I will use some of the blocks to create these groups. Now, as you can see that this drawing is made up of many blocks and this one is a sofa, a chair, a table and all these are blocks and I have created some groups, some arrangement of all these blocks and we'll use these in our tutorial so groups are basically collection of these these blocks and that makes a meaningful arrangement like in this case it's a conference table this one is a reception desk and here is an arrangement of chairs around the table so these are certain groups that we can make in a drawing and now if you want to copy paste or move these groups then you have to select all these objects then use the move command but once you convert them into a group then you can use directly a single grip point or you can directly move one object and they will behave as if they are a single object so you don't need to move them by selecting all uh, all the objects all the objects individually so now let's go and select groups so for making groups i've created a new drawing let's go to this new drawing and now i'll convert some of the objects into groups you will find group panel on the home tab so here's the group panel and all the tools related to group can be seen here Click on this big group icon and now you will see on command line the options related with group. So first option is name. Let's select name and apply a name to our group. And now I'll convert this object to a group and let's name it as table 1. So this is the group which I want to create. Now press enter and now select the objects which you want to include in this group. So I want to include all these objects. Let's make a window to select all of them and press enter now once you click on this object you'll see that a bounding box appears and this will behave like a single object or a single group because all the objects are selected at once so this has been converted into table one group now let's go and create another group so i'll go to group again click on name and now let's name c uh, for conference table so c table that means conference table and now press enter and we'll create a conference table group in this conference table group i'll select all these objects but i'll remove these two chairs for now and press enter now you'll see that a new group called conference table is added into our autocad drawing and now let's perform some manipulations on this so you can see that i have already left these two objects let's say that i want to add these objects back in this group for that go to group edit select group edit click on this group any element of this group and now you'll see on command lines that there are some options which are highlighted so let's select add objects and now click on the objects which you want to add press enter and now your group contains all the objects which you have selected now again let's say that i just want to remove some of the chairs from this for that go to group edit again and now in this case i'll not click on the groups i'll select name and now specify name which was c table for this group and press enter and you'll see that the group is highlighted now click on remove objects and let's remove some of the chairs so i don't want this chair and i don't want this chair as well so i've removed these two chairs and press enter now once you select your group you'll see that these two chairs are not selected and all the objects are selected so even when you delete these two chairs it will not have any effect on this group and here is the group so let's press ctrl z and let's uh, bring these two chairs back to a group so click on group add objects select these two objects and add them back so now our group is complete now for both these groups i've selected a name you can also create an unnamed group so let's create an unnamed group this time so click on group and now i'll not select name i'll not select description you can even specify a description if you want i'm not selecting either and directly select objects so in this case i've selected these two objects and press enter and you'll see on the command line uh, if you can't see then expand it so here you'll see unnamed group has been created that clearly indicates that this group has got no name and still this one is a group it has been created so you can even create unnamed groups in autocad so now we are here we have these three groups 
And now you can move these three groups. You can make copy paste and other manipulations as if they are a single unit, as if they are a single object. Now, if you want to destroy these groups and you want to move these objects to their original configuration, then click on this ungroup. So click on this ungroup, select any member of this group and that's it. Now you'll see that they are now converted back to their original components and this one is no longer a group. Okay, there is another thing here which is group selection on and off. Sometimes even when you have a group, you don't want to destroy it, but you want to temporarily turn some of the groups off. For example, if you want to edit any member of this group, for example, I want to manipulate this chair. For that, I may need to edit this block. For editing block, go to group selection on off and turn it off. And now, once you select on any object, you'll see that they are now selected individually, although the group is already present. So go to this selection on, toggle it on, and now you'll see that the group is appearing again. So now in this way, you can toggle this group selection on and off whenever required. Okay, let's keep it on for now and let's move on to the next one. So now once you select a group, you'll see there is a bounding box, a rectangular one, or depending upon the geometry, it will be either rectangular or square, but there will always be a bounding box. So if you want to turn that bounding box off, there is an option for this. So you can toggle this option on or off. So let's click on this option. I have turned it off. Now click on this object and all the members of this group are selected, but there will be no bounding box. There will be, there will be no single group and all the objects will be shown with their own respective groups. Even in this case also, when you select this conference table, you'll see that the group now appears on all the objects and there is no permanent bounding box. So if you want that bounding box again, go to group, turn it on, now click on the groups and you'll see that the bounding box appears again and with a single common grip for the groups. Now these are the common manipulations that you can perform directly on a group from this group panel. If you want more enhancement, if you want more control over your group, you can go to group manager. So let's go to group manager and now you'll see that there are some settings which we have already performed that you can perform from here. So these were all the settings related with groups and I hope this one is clear to you. Don't forget to subscribe and keep watching for more content about AutoCAD. Once again, thanks for watching.